Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So here we are going to explain an important topic which is beginning of life. So first of all, let me ask you a question. Who are the children? Children is like passing our genes to the next generation. It is a way for us to continue our family line. So in Quran itself, it has been mentioned several times about children. In Surah Kahf verses 46, it says that Al-Mal wal banuna zinatul hayat dunya Children are the adornment of worldly life. In other chapter, it says that at the same time, they are the test for us. So in this world, humans are only the living being with the long-term childhood. From that, 87 lakhs of species are there in this world. From that, 66,000 are vertebrates and 6,500 are mammals. So from these species, the species that are self-sufficient, they are called precocious. For example, animals, they don't need any parental care or anything, right? So at the same time, the species that need parental care after the birth, they are called altricials. For example, human beings, we need a parental care for months, sometimes for years. So first is coming to at the pregnancy time. So the starting of the six months of the pregnancy, the baby can hear the soothing sound of mother's heartbeat and nearby voices. So after the birth, the baby shows a strong attachment with these familiar voices. So there are some reflex that babies do after the birth. So first one is rooting reflex. So in that what we say is when we touch a baby's cheek, they turn to that side and keeps their mouth open. This is called rooting reflex. And second one is step, uh, sucking reflex. In that what we say means uh, they only know what like they only know how to suck. So whatever they give to their mouth, they try to suck it. This is called sucking reflex. And third one is stepping reflex. Like they move their legs like they pretend walking. This is called stepping reflex. So there are some important things that parents should focus at the pregnancy time. So first one is massaging. Both the siblings and parents can massage the baby by caring gen gently by mother's abdomen. So this will boost the baby's confidence and strength too. And second one is eat good food like practice good nutritional food. At the same time you have to understand that whatever you eat the baby also can taste it. So eat good foods and nutritional food. And third one is connect with Quran. Listen to the Quran at the pregnancy time. So the baby have an early connection with the Quran and greet the baby salam frequently. And while going to bed and wake up in time, we used to recite some duas, right? Recite it little loudly so the baby can hear it, whatever I said before. And the, the fourth one is communicate positively. Like communicate with them, talk to them, sing some lullabies to them. So this will make such interaction can make an emotional bond between parent and the children before the birth itself. So these are what we had to uh, do at the pregnancy time. So after pregnancy, the baby only knows three things like she mentioned before. The rest of the things the baby learns as she is growing up, she or he growing up. So that's why the first three years of the childhood is really important. This is because of more synapse present in their body from the ages 9 to 10. This reduces drastically and is called as synaptic proning. So in this, the first three years of the baby, we should take care of some things. The first thing is that kiss them, cuddle them, enhance them, show them love. Do not stop at the age of three. Continue giving them even in their childhood, adolescence, and even in their adulthood. This can produce an hormone called oxytocin and it strengthens the bond between the baby and the parents. The second thing is note screen time. Mobile phones, laptop, TV, whatever it is, do not let them give in the first three years of the baby because it can it can cause and it can cause an autism called virtual autism. The other thing is surroundings. Give them Islamic and good surroundings because it can make them a practice in Muslim. The other thing is we should make we should take care of during the giving them instruction. The first thing is do not use loud noises because they might think it is normal and can use it to their child in the future. The other thing is when we are giving instruction, smile to them, place your hand on the shoulder and talk to them with the language of love because it can make them understand more important it can make them it can make them understand 
more easily. The great example for this one is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told Anas radiallahu anhu to go to a place for a specific purpose, but he told him no. But after some time, he decided to go this anyways. As he was going there, he saw some kids playing in a market, and so the let's just watch him watch them play. Saying this, the Prophet approached him while smiling and placed his placed his hand on the shoulder and told called him Unis, did you go to the place I mentioned? The Prophet, the Anas radiallahu anhu replied to his no prophet i am going there from this story we can understand that prophet never used an aggressive method while talking to a children he called unis with love and told told him to go there and unis answered the law and understood and go, went there disobedience and angering in children is a common trend every child do it as their brain is still developing may allah bless us with good kids and show them right path jazakallah khair